Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of Simwing's Hamburg Airport scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You join me here on approach to runway 05 at Hamburg and I'm starting with an approach as I always do to give you a little look at the surrounding area and the opportunity to gauge the performance of this add-on on my computer. You can find my system specs and my current graphics settings in the video description down below. I'll leave you to watch the rest of the approach and landing in peace and I'll speak to you again when we're parked up at a gate. From there, we'll have a good look around the airport together in different weather and lighting conditions, and I'll finish up by giving you my overall opinion on it. Speak to you shortly. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. 100 50 40 30 20 retard 10 5 Welcome to Hamburg. We're parked up on stand 3 and as always we'll start by having a look at the jetway connecting to the aircraft. Custom jetways here and they look pretty nice as you will see in a moment. Absolutely perfect. The jetway is in exactly the right position and the jetway hood doesn't go through the skin of the aircraft. Very nice job. Something else you may have noticed during the jetway animation is that the staircase here moves, so unlike some sceneries where it will sink into the ground, it does behave completely realistically. And let's have a look at these jetways. The advertising looks fantastic, the jetways themselves look very very good with a nice bit of weathering. Overall, it's a fantastic job. Let's move on to having a look at the terminal building. And as you can see, we have a lot of transparent glass. But before we take a look at that, let's have a look at the exterior modeling and texturing. So these textures down at ground level are really quite good. They are high resolution, there's no blurriness at all, even when you get really close. The windows are perhaps a little bit bland. They're not the best opaque window textures I've seen, but overall they look really good. The roof, this nice curved roof, has been very nicely modelled and uh, the textures aren't quite as crisp as those we've seen so far, but they look perfectly acceptable. And the most impressive thing about this curved roof is that I haven't been able to find a single jagged edge, which is quite unusual in an airport like this. You'll also notice that we have skylights and you can look right down into the terminal from above. Simwings have also modelled this outdoor terrace and the benches look very good, excellent modelling here and some really nice fencing around it as well. Time now to have a look at some of the glasswork and interior modelling. You'll notice that we have transparent glass on the jetways and across the terminal. As we move inside you'll notice that the glass retains its tint and its reflectiveness from the inside which is really nice to see and we've got a lot of activity around the gate areas. Really nice to see these people here and we have departure screens above the uh, desk. 
these are crisp enough to read. The floor and ceiling textures are pretty low resolution. Um, this is not really an airport that you're going to want to spend a lot of time inside, I don't think. Uh, but from the outside, it looks absolutely fantastic, and that's what counts. And it's not just the gate areas that have been modelled. As we come through this window here, you'll notice that we have a fully modelled check-in hall. Well, I say fully modelled. It's not the most detailed interior once again. It's certainly not up to the standard of uh, Joe Ellenson's Cologne or Trondheim. But it's pretty good. It's nice to be able to see this should you want to. And I suspect that Simwings have got a good balance between performance and detail here. While the bulk of the terminal buildings do feature transparent glass, there are some areas where opaque window textures have been used instead, and these are fair to middling. They're not dreadful, but they're not particularly sharp. You'll also notice a little bit of blurriness in the textures around these windows. This building is not up to the standard of what we've seen so far. This satellite in front of stands 81 to 88 is not quite as good as the main terminal buildings are. It features slightly lower resolution textures, you will notice a little bit of blurriness if you get up close, and it features opaque window textures. However, it does have a modelled interior. You definitely can't see through this window, but if we move the drone inside, there it is. So this seems like a slightly odd choice. I'm not entirely sure why Simwings have uh, have bothered with the terminal interior if they weren't going to uh, model transparent glass so you could look inside it. But there we are. It's there if you want to have a look. Hamburg's iconic yellow control tower has been very nicely modelled. The texture is pretty good as well. Um, you'll notice that there's a bit of weathering and a few scuff marks here and there around it. No transparent glass, unfortunately. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty impressed by this. The maintenance area has been very nicely done with some very detailed modelling and some nice, crisp, weathered textures. Some of the buildings here even feature transparent glass. The fire station looks very nice, as does the 3D model of a fire engine out the front of it, although this area is let down a little bit by the quality of the ground textures. There are no static aircraft at this airport, but Simwings have included a good amount of ground clutter, which really helps to bring life to the place, and the models they've used look really nice. Time to look at the ground textures now, and I'm pleased to report that these look pretty decent. There's a good variety of tones within these concrete slabs, a good amount of rubber marking around the aircraft stands, not too much uniformity, and the whole apron area looks very good. The taxiways also look pretty impressive, again nice crisp textures on the ground, and uh, again not too much uniformity. The materials used and their colours match the real airport pretty closely according to the Google satellite imagery. The taxiways are perhaps slightly too dark, but by and large they've done a good job of colour matching. I'm not such a fan of the ground markings, which to my eyes are a little bit too bright, a little bit too clean, and a little bit too cartoony. It's not a major issue, but if they could be toned down a bit, I think the airport would be all the better for it. That said, in terms of accuracy, I think Simwings have done a great job with the ground markings. I haven't inspected every inch of the airport's ground, obviously, uh, but the bits I have had a look at match the real-world airport perfectly. The grassy areas look very nice across the airport, and the 3D taxiway signs are crisp, easy to read, and look pretty realistic.
The runways have been pretty nicely done. They're not the most hyper-realistic runways I've ever seen in my life, but the markings are accurate, the coloration is pretty good, and we've got a good amount of rubber around the touchdown zones. Simwings have done a really nice job with the landside areas of the airport. You'll notice that we have a huge number of parked cars. We've got a lot of detail on the elevated roadway right in front of the terminal, including advertising hoardings, lamp posts, and all sorts. The ground textures are not the sharpest, but in terms of atmosphere, I'm really impressed. I particularly like the model of the Radisson Blue Hotel, which looks very realistic. Here's Hamburg Airport at night, and I have to say it looks very nice indeed. The floodlights create a realistic looking glow over the apron, and the transparent glass retains its tint, which means that a realistic looking amount of light shines through, and the whole thing looks very convincing. If I was to be really nitpicky, um, I would point out these opaque window textures here with their bluey tint. I'm not a big fan, they don't blend in particularly well, and it is, to my mind at least, a shame given the amount of work that Simwings put into the main part of the terminal that they didn't give these structures transparent windows as well. The satellite building in front of stands 81 to 88, however, is a bit of a disappointment. It's really very poorly lit. You may remember that this building doesn't have any transparent glass, but the nighttime opaque window textures just aren't anywhere near bright enough. In fact, you can barely see the building until you get up really close. So you're not going to want to arrive at these stands at night. The runway and taxiway lighting looks really very nice indeed, and I'm particularly pleased to see that we have orange, blue and green taxiway centerline lighting, um, as is common at German airports. Here's Hamburg in the rain, and the ground textures look absolutely fantastic when they're wet. You will notice a significant amount of popping of the transparent glass in the jetways. Uh, when other parts of the building are shrouded in mist, these really do stick out. The terminal suffers less from this than they do. I'm not entirely sure why. I suspect it's something to do with the way the glass has been tinted. But as I've said before, I don't think there's anything developers can do about this. It's down to a Sobo to fix the problem. And here's Hamburg in the snow. It suffers from many of the same problems as other airports in that there are some areas that are completely clear of snow and others that have a thick blanket of it. All of the taxiways are clear, parts of the runways are covered, parts of them are clear, and it doesn't look very realistic. Now, there are issues with the simulator in terms of how snow can be used, and the thickness of the coverage is down to the colour of the texture beneath. So it must be an absolute nightmare for developers to get this right. However, I have seen much better snow implementations than this. So what do I think of Simwings Hamburg overall? I think it's really pretty good. I definitely feel that Simwings are upping their game in MSFS. I thought that their Munich was good and I think that this is even better. I'm very impressed with the quality of the modelling and with the resolution of most of the textures, both on the ground and on the buildings. I think the night lighting looks really good too overall. There were one or two disappointments. I'm not a fan of the garish ground markings, I'm not a fan of the snow, and I think that some of the areas away from the main terminal could have done with a little more love. That satellite building we looked at doesn't look great by day, and looks even worse by night. But overall, this is a realistic and accurate representation of Hamburg Airport. It's got a great atmosphere, and it's an airport that I think I'll enjoy flying to a lot, so I recommend you check it out. I hope this review has been useful. If it has, do please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and if you'd like to help even more than that, you can join Club Filbert as a channel member. Click the join button below for more details, or make a donation via streamlabs.com slash filbertflies. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.